Hey, good morning, folks. It is Friday. Uh, what's the date today? 19th of January, 2024. I want to give you an update. I tuned the Zeta 6 BKW, well, my version of tuning, and seem to have gotten much better in some areas, actually most areas. Um, let me run through some things. So... What you're seeing on the screen right now is before the tune from the previous video. So what I did, this is 40 meters, 80 meters is still crap. Uh, the only way to fix 80 meters from what I was seeing reading was to use like a doorknob cap in line on the center pin, like I think a four or 500 puff cap, uh, but I don't really care about that. So uh, we're just going to focus on 40 through 6. Um, so what I ended up doing was uh, ran the numbers, and this was a spitball. I didn't know what was going to happen, but it looked like I was about 0.8 feet too long on each side of the antenna. Then uh, That includes the 450 ohm and the legs across the top now the rest of this like i said the rest of the specs are the same except for the top so i took so i took the 0.8 feet off of the legs so it is now 46 feet per leg plus the 450 ohm which is 39.1 feet so you can do the math on that so 46 times 2, uh, 92 feet, 92 feet across the top and 39.1 on the 450. That's what I got, and I'll show you what happened. So the screen, the screen you're looking at right now is the previous uh, uh, V&A sweep from the other video from the other day. Now let me go over to the new one. So that's the new one. You can see that the SWR curve is much more gradual uh return loss is slightly less than the previous run but you'll notice that the point of resonance moved way up so if you look if i go back point point of resonance is way down around 7.050 probably somewhere in there now if we go back to the tuned version, it's up around, oh, 7.1. Uh, well, we can look at it. 7.19, uh, no, 7.123. Um, so it moved up over 100 kilohertz. Uh, well, theoretically, no. Uh, so it did move up. But you'll, you'll notice that the SWR curve is much more gradual. Go back to, and I'm going to move quicker once I'm off of this. So I would just want to do this so you guys know what you're looking at. And I'm going to refer to old and then new. Old and new. The new is the tuned. Old is the original when I put it up. So this is the original, 40 meters. This is the new. All right, let's go to, close this. Twenty meters. This is the old, uh, tuned very low in the band, way down at the bottom, even below this, I think. I think it was resonant down around 13, probably, to, this is a spitball, 13, Six thirteen seven, um, based on the trajectory, but I really don't know. Uh, return loss wasn't bad at fourteen megahertz at minus eighteen, but when you go to this one, this is the tuned version. So a point of resonance moved up quite a bit. She's up around uh, fourteen oh seven oh. Still low, 
but notice what happened to the return loss. Much better. We're talking like minus 26, almost minus 27 dB. That's crack -a -lack. Unfortunately, it's low. And I'll tell you why I'm not going to touch it. It's pretty much, I'm not going to mess with it. Tuner handles it incredibly well. So let's, let's go back. Let's go to 17 meters. So this is 17. Not too bad. Right? But you'll see that return loss improves. And SWR improved quite a bit. Still low, but it improved quite a bit. So let's go over to the new tuned version. Uh, SWR has dropped from like 1.9 and change to 1.5. And return loss is now almost minus 14 as opposed to minus 10. So that's pretty radical improvement there. That's nice. Okay. 15 is still a, an abomination. So we'll look at 15. 15, the old. Uh, pretty piss poor. Uh, it does here, will tune with a little bit of grunt. Uh, it's pretty pissy. Um, that's the old. Let's go to the new. New. Not much difference. A little bit lower on the SWR. And pretty much the same. It's just you're splitting hairs on return loss. Meh. Still poor. Let's go to 12 meters. Okay, so we got 12 meters. Here is uh, SWR, minimum SWR 2.8 uh, with a return loss of minus six. And when you see this, you'd be like, holy crap. Let's go over to the new. So we got a minimum SWR of, uh, it's under 3 to 1 on the old, 2.8. And we've got a 1.3. Of course, it's low at the bottom of the band. I'm not really concerned because the band is so small. And if you look at the return loss, we're talking a difference of like minus 6.4. And minus like almost minus 18 dB. That is huge as far as transfer of energy. So score on that. Yeah, that's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, let's go back to, let's look at 10. Ten meters. It was pretty darn good, and I was very concerned about 10. And it did slide up. So if you look at 10, Return loss minus 18 dB and lowest SWR was pretty much right in the kill box at 28.46, 28.46 at a 1.285. Now, if we come over here, you can see what happened. Not a deal breaker. Minimum, so it rose by 200 kilohertz. Actually, a little less than 200 kilohertz. So minimum SWR 1.3. So the SWR is, yeah, it's a tenth higher. Not a deal breaker. At 28.646, return loss at minus 17 dB right here. And if you remember on the old version, it was minus 18. Splitting hairs, don't care. All right, so, and what that does is it puts it up a little higher, which is a good thing. Uh, for the tuner. Um, as you can see, it's, you know, I, I don't go up. Right in the 28, let's say, 28.3 to like 28.6. I mean, it's like a 1.8 to 1 or less. So you could probably run this without a tuner if you wanted to. All right. Let's come back over here. Let's go to six meters and we'll tie this off. So this was the original uh, sweep on six meters, the old. 
Um, minimum SWR 1.194 at 50 megahertz. So a transceiver wouldn't even see that, right? Return loss minus 21 dB. Let's go over to... Over here. Okay, this is the new after tuning. You notice point of resonance moved up. So it's actually resonant on FT8. 50, right around, it's uh, 50.32, 50.313 is, I believe, the FT8 frequency. Minimum SWR 1.2, the old 1.194, so about the same. Uh, return loss minus 19 dB, very respectable. On the old one, uh, return loss was minus 21. So we lost, yeah, about 2.2 2 dB um, on return loss. But again, that's not a deal breaker uh, for the sake of, uh, now I haven't tried to tune this on the PW1. I'm going to try it shortly and see if it'll actually tune up. Kind of doubt it. The PW1 does not have an SWR. It, it's not broadband enough in the tuner section to handle a, of like a gross mismatch um and it definitely doesn't like an antenna being tuned flat it's much much narrower in capability compared to on hf so but we'll see so some observations sorry about that regarding the updated the the tuned version of the antenna i was on 10 meters and 12 meters yesterday and absolutely killed it um, guys running optibeams and all kinds of good stuff on 10 and 12 across the pond. Worked all over the place over there. And uh, signal reports were superb. Really superb. Um, so this antenna, I can tell you on 40, I haven't, I did make some contacts on 20, but the jury's out on that. I need to do more. Uh, I don't know if I made any on 17, 15. I made no contacts. 12 and 10 have been absolutely rip snorting gangbusters. So it's, it's been a, so far, it's really performing well. That's it. Um, uh, we'll catch you guys later. Have a great weekend coming up. Not sure what's going on. 7 3.